So what does it mean for Alaska and the rest of the world? It's very difficult to know. Um, it could mean a range of different things. I think it will mean a significant change in the way that people do business uh, over a long period of time. Um, I think businesses are very keen, uh, and many of the big, bigger businesses in the world, they're keen to get a signal. They're keen to get an investment signal as to whether or not the investments that they have in fossil fuels are safe, are good, or are valuable. And there's a long question mark over that if a new deal is done. Um, and I think it's going to make countries transition from fossil fuel usage. It's going to accelerate that process away from the use of fossil fuels to the use of renewables. Um, I'm just make a point about the United Kingdom. You know, coal was such a big thing. In the, in, it was the, almost the equivalent of oil in Alaska in the 1960s. You had 1,300 mines in the UK. The vast majority of the UK's electricity power in the 1960s came from coal and nuclear, but mainly coal until then. Now, there's no, there's no mines. There are no mines. All the mines are closed. And yesterday, the British government said that by 2023, you wouldn't be allowed to generate electricity from coal unless you had some sort of carbon capture device or you had some other way of doing it. But so essentially, they've moved in 50 years, or they're moving in 50 years from an economy that was powered essentially by coal to one that by 2023 will no longer be. So I think, you know, if you look at Alaska, maybe it might be able to take a leaf out of some of those books in terms of making those kind of changes.